Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to get first 7 days of sales by every month in Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So I am into Power BI desktop now and here you can see two visuals here both of them shows the same result and there are a couple of ways which you can do one is by filter another is by measure so i will show you both of them in this video so the first week is nothing but is the first seven days of every month so one two seven irrespective of any weeks or any order on that day here so how it can be done is basically if i'm into this adventure works database which is the regular practice database and I have added few things here if you let me zoom this here so it's a short month name to be on the x-axis and the fiscal year to be on the y-axis I mean the legend and the values is sum of amount on this one okay so what does the sum of amount contain sum of amount is nothing but just a plain measure as simple as that it is sales amount sum of fact ignorant sales sales amount that's it i just use the filter here right so what i have done here is basically i just added these things here on this visual and on the filter on this visual part i just selected drag and drop the date number of the month in the filter pane of this visual and selected just to be the first seven days of the month so as i have the date table and the date table is linked with the fact internet sales so by selecting these things manually I'm able to get this data here so that's the one way and the other way is what I used here is by measure so here what I have done here the both of them are same like the short month name and the fiscal year both of them are same and for this one measure I have written here so in this measure what I have done here is sales first seven days of the month and here calculate sum of sales amount the same measure which I used on the earlier example and come out I just use the dim date day number of the month a should be less than or equal to 7 that's great right so the advantage of doing these two things is um, if you give access to filter pane to show this filter pane on power BI service then this is good enough user can able to do and make the changes whatever the day they need and they can select on that day so it will react accordingly but while defining these two into a measure and you are not willing to give this option to the user at that time what you can do you can use the what if parameter options and in that you can just give the parameter option and use that parameter option here so that user can select the date and then they can visualize the data accordingly if you are not aware of what if parameters i have made a separate video on this please go and check out that video as well so these are the two simple ways which you can extract the first seven days of the sales of every month in power bi using dax functions or using a filter pane if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video